That's not marital property. Can't prove that. It says my name on it. Are you stupid? Alright. See, if we can get in there, you can't say stuff like that, okay? He's, he's got to be completely quiet. Okay, that's fine. Then will you let me in the room so I can get the property? I can walk in. Not going in this room. I mean, you guys had sex two days ago. Like, are you kidding me? Like, you're an idiot. Because you're mad at me. It's just. I'm just, I'm like, not a dog. It's just when he lay in my bed. And I slept in my daughter's room. If we, if nobody can, can compromise. Like, I'm not a, I don't deserve to be this way. How do I solve this permanently? Well, I know y'all have attorneys, so you need to talk to your attorneys about it. Well, this is, this is new. I've been living in the master. I, this is the first mm -hmm. night he decided because I asked him to please file for it. Right. Finally did. It's, not, it's just a sticky so situation for us because he's oh, also, it's also his property. There's no, manipula so. why, why, there's no manipulation. I don't want to be with Troy. I've not wanted to be with Troy for a very long yeah. time. This is why we're at where we're at. I just want to sleep in my bed. You can obviously see I'm just, it's not a joke, like I'm not a dog, like I don't, I've been sleeping in my daughter's room for three months. Yeah, I get that, but that's where well, we need to come up with some type like of I'm, compromise. Cause I've he's, always been compromised, I've been compromised. I understand, but throughout the whole process you're going to have to compromise a little bit here and there, okay? Because we can't just kick in the door and force them to let you sleep in and there. Cause that's just going to make the situation like, worse for you when we leave. Yeah, so what we do is mediation. Either you, if yeah, you I want need to get myself. If you want to get some points out of there, yeah. I need you to agree because he's not going to open that door if you don't agree. Thank you. Yeah. 29. You don't drill out a lot. Sir, I need you to calm down, please. Oh, nice try. I've been living in my daughter's room for three months and then the last seven weeks I've been my master, not seven weeks, but whatever. Yeah. And I get it, but somebody has to be a bigger person. All the time, man. I know. I know. I've been out here several times. I, I know. I know the deal. I know it sucks, but eventually, eventually it will end. Well, then I can't help you, sir. It's hard for me to hear her. Will you open the door so that I can speak with you? Uh, Sir, will you listen? Will you open the door so that I can speak with you? No. No, we'll take them out with them. Thanks. There's got to be something. The screw is shut while I leave this open to go get my screws so she comes barging in here later. This is wild, man. You guys got to work that out. This is wild. I can't get into my master to get my own stuff. Stop. I'm surprised we even got all this. Do what? It should be a crime the way Kim Zolziak and her husband Croy Bierman treated the cops in this body cam footage we're about to watch. Kim had called 911 on August. 25th, 2023, because her husband, Croy, had locked her out of the master bedroom. Kim said she had been begging Croy to file for divorce, and he finally did the day before, once again, on August 24th, 2023. So he's upset, maybe that's the real problem, and he locks her out. But first, let's listen to a different call, a 911 call, where Kim called police on June 16th, 2023. Kim is claiming that Croy had threatened to file kidnapping charges against her friend. Kim had a friend, I don't know who, take one of their sons to a play date, some rodeo, and apparently this made Croy angry. I think these two at this point in 2023 were just calling the cops for every little thing just so they could have documentation for their highly contested divorce. Now once again you can watch it all over on Patreon if you want it straight, no chaser. If you don't want to hear any commentary, if you just want the raw 911 calls and the body cam videos with all the cursing and everything in there. But please note, you can watch it all here or over on Patreon. Either way, there are going to be blank spaces and redactions where police took out things, you know, due to HIPAA violations or what have you. 
Hello, ma'am. Oh, what's that? I'll start a I'm sorry. Hold on one second. My my earbuds keep picking up and then knocking me off. Are you there? I'm here. Oh my gosh, they're coming in again. One second, I'm sorry. One second, one second. Okay, can you hear me? I can hear you. I'm going to turn my volume up a little bit here. Are you there? I'm still here. It's super quiet. I don't know why. I just have a situation here where my husband is threatening a kidnapping because my girlfriend um, took my son on a play date. And now he has harassed not only the mother, but my son is shaking and hysterically crying, and now I'm just going to leave and just go pick him up to prevent this situation. I just don't know what else to do at this point. Okay, can you tell me what happened? I'm, I'm sorry, can you please tell the story again? I'm sorry, what was that? I can hear you. I'm just going to put you on speaker just because my son, mm -hmm. I dropped my son off. At, I live in the manor. I dropped my son off at the front gate. for six years, they were going to the rodeo, whatever. My husband, we're going through a divorce, just came in and said that he's going to file kidnapping charges on her. And I said, absolutely not. I agreed that she could take him. And then he because he's crying hysterically on the phone. And now I'm going to pick him up and just to create any kind of further stuff, but it's just, um, I did call my lawyer to ask him if it was kidnapping, said I didn't want police to get in trouble, and he said it's not, if one parent can consent, um, and then my husband did steal my bag that has all my divorce paperwork and all my stuff in it. This is just so petty, and I, I hate to call 911 for this situation. I just was so frantic in the moment when I realized that he was gone, and Elise want him going to the house and doing anything crazy because he's known to do crazy things. Okay, may I have your name? The police come to? Well, I, I don't now. I'm just going to let it, I'm going to go pick my son up um, and then um, I don't feel like this is going to be the end of it to be honest with you tonight. Um, so I will probably call you back rather than kind of go back and forth with this. And the police, I'm just going to pick my son up because he's very distraught. Okay. Um, and then I will call you if I need you, which I'm sure he will be screaming and yelling. And I will need you guys in a little bit. I just decided to leave the house and just pick him up. Okay. Just call us back when you need us. I appreciate you. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Kim and Croy continue to use 911 as their personal mediators. The next 911 call you're about to hear is from the same night as the body cam footage, August 25th, 2023. 911, what's the address of your emergency? Drive. I do see that. What's the phone number you're calling from? I'm tired of you threatening me. Interbridge Drive. I do see that address. What's the telephone number you're calling me from? He's been threatening me. He will not open the door. I had to have a locksmith come. I had never out of everything. I've had an, this is insane to me. Okay. What's your name? Kim. D I'm glad you do. I had to call a locksmith to get into my room to get my medicine okay. and sleep in my bed. Okay, Kim. I am getting some help started. Just stay on the line with me, okay? Please. Thank you very much. I appreciate it very much. They told me to call with the locksmith, and I should have listened. I'm so tired of being treated this way. This person's disgusting. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'm not partaking in your behavior. I'm tired of you threatening me. Open the door. This is my house, too. You don't own this house, Corey. I've been more than accommodating. I will. Kim, does anyone have access to weapons? I don't know. Corey has guns. I don't know what he does with them. I don't know if they're locked. They're locked up in a safe, probably. Uh, open the door, Corey. Like I had to. This is just crazy. Like okay. this guy yeah, doesn't I think this is my house. This description. Um, what's your? What is your husband's name? What does he look like? His name is Croy, and he's like six three, red hair. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Where is he? Corey, I deserve to get into my room. I don't want anything to do with you. I want to get into my room, sir. I begged it. Kim, are you or anyone else in danger tennis. right now? Hello. I'm in danger. He's threatened me, yes, and he is. He has. He has been physical before, ma'am. So yes, I need to get into my room. I had to, like I said, call a lot, but yes, he has. I have many people that will vouch for that. So. Are any children present? Yes, but they're asleep. How old is each child? 12, 11, and twins that are 9. This guy just thinks he can put my pillow outside the door and make me sleep in random spots, but when I just had two vertebrae, he refused, like, get out of here. I had enough. Kim, has anyone involved been using alcohol or drugs? I'm sorry, ma'am? Has anyone involved been using alcohol or drugs? No. All right, if it's safe to do so, separate yourself from him and avoid further contact and do not disturb anything at the scene. Um, an officer will be dispatched as soon as possible. Call us back if anything. I'm not at the front of the house. I'm on the side of the house. If you could tell them to the right of the house. Okay. Are you going to be waiting in your vehicle? No, I'm standing. I'm waiting by the door that I just had drilled out so I could get to my bed because I'm exhausted, <laughs> like beyond exhausted. Then this guy doesn't even have a job, ma'am, to be providing for this house like I do. But I'm locked out of my bedroom. Get out of here. Like, come on. Disgusting. Okay, looks like my partner has already dispatched the officers, so we have multiple. You can tell them that I'm to the right of the house? Yes, Or Because I don't want them ringing the doorbell. Huh? I, I told them you're to the right of the house. Oh. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Call us back if anything changes or you have any information. I will. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. Croy refuses to even initially open the door for cops. There's only two that show up. He won't even open the master bedroom door for them. Kim lets them in the house. And Kim is her usual reality TV show, open book type character. She's like, you guys, this is ridiculous. We had sex two days ago. Are you kidding me? She's calling Croy an idiot. And at some point she turns on the tears a little bit. She's saying, I'm not a dog. I've been sleeping in my daughter's room, but I love it. These two male cops aren't buying it. They're not falling for her tears. It sounds like Kim says she's been sleeping in her daughter's room for about three months. She's tired of compromising. She wants to sleep on their $20,000 mattress. I think Kim complains of her neck and having fused vertebrae and all that. I don't know. I read on Reddit somewhere that this $20,000 mattress was really because of Croy's sports injuries. He used to play for the NFL. So if that's true, no wonder the judge would rule for Croy to eventually get to stay in this master bedroom. But before we watch all the body cam footage, take a look at this gorgeous seven bedroom, 11 bathroom home. I really think Croy and Kim could have figured out where to sleep separately and where to bathe separately without getting police involved. But no, this is the war of the Beermans and neither one of them wants to cede the master bedroom to the other one. It's a battle. But this couple back then, they're fighting over the wind. Because today, as I film this, it is Saturday, November 4th. And that mansion is due to be auctioned off on the courthouse steps on November 7th, 2023. Just in three days. So how much will it go for? How much less than the $6 million it's listed for? Will someone get a deal for it? According to legal documents obtained by TMZ, Kim and Croy said they will suffer irreparable damage to the marital estate pleading it in its entirety. I guess if it's allowed to go into foreclosure or auction or if someone gets a good deal from it. The 38-year-old Corey wrote in his affidavit, the consequences of losing this equity would be devastating for my family, including myself, my ex-spouse Kim, and our four minor children. He says they will be left homeless without financial resources. Apparently, it should satisfy the debts for their truest mortgage, their home equity line of credit, and an IRS lien. Croy wrote, that he worked closely with Truett to avoid foreclosure by entering into some type of three-month probationary period. It would have lasted from June to August in 2023. However, Croy and the 45-year-old Kim couldn't make their August payment. So, so much for that deal. But this house is gorgeous. I'm wondering who's going to get it. It overlooks a lake. It's currently in foreclosure. Someone might get a great deal for it. And some other family will likely be enjoying the stunning vanishing edge 
huge pool alongside all these other living areas, a gourmet chef's kitchen. I remember the scene when Kim had a lot of the Real Housewives of Atlanta stars over and it's almost like bragging, like, look at my castle. But the listing on the $6 million mansion says that this owner suite, which is really the master bedroom suite they're fighting over in this body cam, it's located on the main level with a fireplace, a sitting room, an ensuite bathroom with separate vanities, a soaking tub, multiple shower heads. This house even has a 500 bottle climate controlled walk-in wine cellar. There's a separate area above the garage with like a two station salon and a full bathroom. But once again, you will hear in this body cam footage, Kim is going off to the cops complaining about Croy, saying he hasn't worked in seven years. She's claiming that most of her income pays for all this. Before, she claimed she could make all the money back in a snap, but I don't know about that. She doesn't really go into her gambling debts. She doesn't ever really give Croy credit for how much money he's made in the NFL or other places. I think Kim will need to do a lot more cameo videos at $175 a pop to try and pay for this place with the private heated pool and spa and a huge garage with room for lifts. It can fit up to eight cars. Now, Croy is also listed on Cameo. It says new, but as of this filming, it says he's temporarily unavailable. I'm sure Croy is in no mood with all these financial problems to make these chipper videos wishing people happy anniversary or whatever people would hire him for. Now, BMW also sued Croy in June. They allege he missed payments on this SUV that cost $400,100. They claim he owes more than $190,000 and his last payment was more than a year ago in September 2022. Pay attention to all the stuff that Croy is yelling in this police body cam video. He seems dangerous, provoking the police. God bless these police. Croy could have been gone many times over the way he's acted. The majority of the video, you won't see Croy's face. You'll just hear Croy yelling through the door at the cop. He seems very agitated, off the rails, and it's a volatile situation that could have turned deadly really quickly. He even has this dog in the bedroom with him. It might be the Kane Corso, Kanye Corso, with a really deep bark and at one point Croy is yelling to back up I guess at the dog I thought he was yelling at the cop to back up back up the dog is also a threatening presence and at one point the cop asks Croy to put the dog in the bathroom one cop even says to the other cop cover me as he approaches Croy near the bedroom door could this have been one of the same police officers who had showed up to the same residence and Croy chased them away with his guns drawn that's what we talked about in the previous video listening to Kim's 911 calls but Kim is still trying to force her hand she's trying to play this Oh, pretty little Southern Belle, woe is me, damsel in distress, hoping these cops would fall for it, in my opinion. She wants inside that master bedroom. She thought she could call the cops, Croy get kicked out, and she'd be like, nanner, 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 you know, have the cops fall for her damsel in distress routine. These cops are so frustrated with Kim and Croy. Once they see that Croy is not budging, to force his hand probably would have forced a shooting or something. The one cop just turns to Kim and is like, look, is there another bedroom you can sleep in? That's when she starts complaining. I mean, she really sounds like a princess here when she goes, oh, you know, like she could have been sleeping in her daughter's bedroom, but that bed's too soft. I mean, seriously, like the tale of the princess and the pea. The cop finally negotiates with her. Kim wants her La Prairie Platinum Rare Neck Cream. It's listed for like over $1,600 on Saks Fifth Avenue, but it's only $1,300 or more on Amazon. So feel free to buy it from my affiliate link below. Seriously, this stuff is like too rich for most people's blood, but that's what Kim wants, the purplish container, but she calls it red as F as it's the last item she has cops act like her little messenger boys and take it from Croy. He finally finds it. He finds her comforter, her charger, her pajamas. I see a phone case, some other stuff. And Croy yells, I'm not her servant. <laughs> He's yelling so much, I'm surprised the kids can sleep through all of this. Both of them seem pretty selfish and self-centered. Some people don't see it that way. Some people see Croy as put upon and he's been the victim of financial abuse all these years and he's finally putting his foot down. He's 
Pretty angry, of course, about all this money, $1.5 million, he claims that Kim gambled away. So is that why he locked Kim out of the bedroom? He wants to just be in there and with all her stuff and with all her shoes and maybe he's like plotting his next move still to try and sell all this stuff and get more money to pay his lawyer? I don't know. Did he hear about the rumors of Kim allegedly dating Chet Hanks, who is the son of Tom Hanks? We don't know if that's true or not. Kim says that both her and Croy have been faithful to one another. Now, Kim does talk about a locksmith that she had brought there earlier. I don't know at what point. The locksmith must have drilled at some point down in the bedroom or some, or either there's a passageway, I think, from the bedroom. It's hard to know their house. But she drilled in the basement door or the bedroom. She had him drill through a door. I'm not sure where. But she said the locksmith became too afraid to drill through the doorknob. But you can hear Croy yelling about all this kind of stuff. They don't even care to keep peace in their home and not wake their young children. They are just yelling and the cop is telling Kim, look, if we let you in this bedroom, you can't be calling him an idiot and you just need to stay silent. But Croy is like, she's not not coming in this bedroom. So the cops get a few things from Croy and that's it. So once they're done being Kim's messenger boys and they have the stuff laid out on the piano, Kim's on the phone always like having a witness nearby. She needs an audience. She needs someone to pay attention to her. She starts complaining, oh, wah, I can't carry all this stuff. I mean, it's just a comforter and a phone and this ex expensive face cream, neck cream. She talks about it being for her neck as if it's so, and especially her medications. I don't know what they are. I know she had a stroke, she says, when she was 37. She's on blood thinners. So yeah, I get it. She might need some medication. I don't know what it is. They bleep all of that out. But all the other stuff, she seems spoiled. So we're about to watch these shenanigans and stay tuned for more. Subscribe, turn your notifications on so you'll catch the future ones. I'm still working to get more videos and I still have at least one more in the queue where it got so bad that it wasn't even Kim that called, I believe it was her daughter that called, which is sad. Most people feel bad for these children who are still in the home, still having to witness this breakdown in what should have been a great love story. But Ecclesiastes, six, one, and two kind of fits this couple perfectly as we watch them. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, and it weighs heavily on men, a man to whom God has given riches and wealth and honor, so that he lacks nothing of all that he desires. Yet God has not given him the capacity or the power to enjoy them, all those things which are gifts from God. But a stranger in whom he has no interests succeeds him and enjoys them. This is vanity, worthlessness basically, and it is a cause of great distress. You will see the Behrmans going through great distress. We will see on Tuesday, if this auction is still on, what happens to this mansion. We know Croy likely fell for Kim's beauty and maybe more of her outward attributes instead of her internal ones. I don't know. I think Croy is a believer. I know Kim has many different beliefs. I know she's visited psychics and all that, but this is really a breakdown. I know a lot of people are probably siding with Croy's parents and saying, you should have listened to mom and dad and never married this woman. But again, I think we're watching something so volatile. Hopefully their house can sell, another family can enjoy it. Croy and Kim can pay off all their debts and just start anew separately, co-parenting. Hopefully the kids can survive this, be okay without tragedy happening. And maybe they can move forward without, ugh calling 911 like every other week or whatever they're doing. Thanks, watch the whole thing, visit the links below. Stay tuned for the next one. Looks like they were fighting, 1203. Yeah. Who's almost here? Oh, yeah, they can handle it. Hey, good evening. It's this one, right? Are you talking to us or the person no, on the phone? 185 radio. I'm sorry. 185. Um, 
Yeah. Um, I came home and I walked out of my room, which happens all the time. Like, he's mad now because I file is ridiculous. Anyways. Um, so I called the locksmith, and the locksmith broke the lock out of the bottom door. Um, and then he came downstairs, wouldn't open the door. I'm like not a dog. Lima 11, flying dispersed. Check the status on 1203, please. Call that dream. I've been confirming code 4. Confirming code 4. And he said, no, you're not getting in the door. And I just said, no, you're not getting in the door. And I just said, no, you're not getting in the door. And I just said, no, you're not getting in the door. And he said, fuck out, I'll come for you. Here we are. So, I'm sorry. Are you divorced yet? No. I begged him to file. Please file. Every day, please file. Finally did, yesterday or two days ago, whenever it was. Okay. Is it Croy or Corey? Croy. Croy? Okay. Oh, okay. So she can get through the side door? Okay. He's friendly? Okay. Okay. He's huge. Hey, pup pup. What's your puppy's name? What's your dog's name? Which one is it? Uh, Sin. this gold, Sin. it's a gold dog. <laughs> What's his name? Sinatra. Sinatra. Sin. Sin. Hey boy. Hey boy. Hey Sin. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Sin. He's confused. Yeah, he wanted to bark at me. And he's like, hey, he's being confused, nice. So I'm gonna put him in the crate one second. Okay. So you can get in through here. Yeah, I just can't get into my master bedroom because there's like a deadbolt that he put in the into the, the trim. Is he in there? And, yes, and he won't get out. Okay. And he won't let me in. Okay. And so... All right, go ahead and get the dog and we'll go in. Thanks. Mm -hmm. kids? You got kids? They're old. Okay. Okay, because I was selling like, all the little airsoft beads and hoverboards and stuff. Hold on, we're going to that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Can we turn some lights on? Thanks. Is it upstairs or down here? <laughs> Mr. Beerman? It's the Milton Police. <laughs> Mr. Beerman, it's the Milton Police. Can you come to the door, please? Yeah. Can you open the door, please? Uh, I would like to see who I'm speaking with. Sir, I would like to at least see your hands while I'm talking to you. You don't have to put your face out. I'm sorry? I would like to see your hands while we're talking. Yes, sir, you can. 
We would like to discuss the dispute that's going on, but I would like to see your hands. All right, sir. So here's the deal. This is still marital property, so you're both due uh, equal <laughs> access to it. If you deny one party access to that property, then you can be charged with criminal trespass. No, I cannot. Is there another bedroom you can sleep in for the night? No, because my neck, my, my daughter's room is big, but their mattresses are so soft. So this is like a twenty thousand dollar mattress. I'm three months, but I just, as you can see, two weeks ago on Monday, I had a big fusion on the right side of my neck. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, sir, we're just here to talk. I don't want to talk. Don't need to. Okay. 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 Hold on. I need. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so disrespectful. That's fine. Can you just give me a sec? So I can, it's hard to hear through the door. All right. Thank you. Uh, hey, sir, your wife says she needs access, access at least to some medication and belongings. Can you at least... Okay. Can we facilitate that while we're here? I deserve to sleep in my bed. Can he leave the room for the night for once? Till I'm going to L.A. on Sunday. Can he leave the room? Like, this is... I'm not asking for anything. Like, I look at my hands. Like, for real. We can't force either one of you to do anything with that, but I can... My medication. Okay, we can he facilitate. What I take, he's, he's going to try to play all these games. We can facilitate all that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, sir. While we're here, we're going to facilitate the exchange of her some of her stuff out of that room. Okay. No, I'm not opening the door there. Oh my god. She's not right here, she's gonna have to go, okay? but she's going to have to come in so to I get her open stuff. That door, then she's going to walk in here, and then we got a problem. What kind of problem is that, sir? She won't leave, and you can't force her to leave, nor can I. I just, just, like, he can go sleep anywhere else. He can sleep, like, I need... Look, the two of you can work that out, but we're going to open the... Okay, is there a way that I can press the door? Or do something that this is not going to work for me? While we're here, can you do us a favor? If he opens that door, will you please not create and exacerbate the issue or create another issue? No. No, or, yeah, no, I'm you, can you go in, get whatever you need, and then come back out no. without causing another issue? I don't think it's fair that I have to sit out here and Well, then I can't help you. Sir, it's hard for me to hear her. Look, ma'am. So what we do is mediation. Either do you, if you yeah, want to get, stuff. if you want to get some things out of there, yeah. I need you to agree because he's not going to open that door if you don't agree to get the things and come yeah. back out. Are they holding the air? You listen out. I'll handle this, ma'am. Come here. Will you will you please agree to get in, get your things, and not exacerbate the issue and come back it. out? Will you come back out with those things? 
please do not create if you if you say you're going to create the issue then i can't help no, you I'm you guys are just going to have to I'm deal with that Will you open the door so that I can speak with you? Sir, will you listen? Will you open the door so that I can speak with you? No. The medicine is hers. So I can, we can see T on that. Yeah. Look, look, sir, this is, it's mirror property. You honestly, that can, you can both have access. You don't drill out a lot. Sir, I need you to calm down, please. Here's the deal. The, there is no deal. Everything in this house, no with the deal. exception of very few things, is marital property. Listen to me, if you do not provide access to that, <laughs> sir, if you continue down this road, it's not going to go well. What's it, what's it gonna do? Where's it gonna go? Because you are you are now making me feel very uncomfortable and unsafe. I need you to calm down. This is your police tactic. I'm not oblivious to what you do. Not how they just spent more units than they didn't answer. He did say they got him in custody though. Hmm. Or detained. They said uh you need more units than they didn't. They said something but you can hear. <clears throat> I'm in my own property. Her property. I can't prove that. It says my name. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Then will you let me in the room so I can get the property? I can walk with you. Claire, do you want me to continue holding there? I can't sleep in this. I have to. Really? Claire, you didn't resume normal traffic. Claire, 021. He wasn't even this. He threw my pillows out like I only was sitting on the floor. 192, signal 68. Clear 68. Why would I open this? Delta 1113, good traffic. Thanks. Let me just stop there. Non-emergency or emergency. 
our case to be in jeopardy for the rest of the evening. At this point, you're obstructing my ability to conduct an investigation by not opening that door. I am investigating this dispute to determine whether there is probable cause to charge you with criminal trespass. I need to. I want you to open the door so that you can show me your hand so that I can be clear of your intentions. Your safety will not be in jeopardy. You're saying that, but you're not staying here all night. You can close the door after we leave. But she's going to be in here. Then who's going to remove her? She, we, she has agreed to not stay in that room. She has agreed to go in and get the property and come back out. And you believe her? Because you know her? Look, sir, it doesn't matter. I'm doesn't here matter. to resolve the issue. So what you're doing right now is you're taking her side when you don't, when you're not listening to me. I've been listening matter. to you for the past 10 minutes, sir. I'm sorry? I've been listening to you for the past 10 minutes, sir. Hey, but, but you're not, because you're forcing me to put myself in jeopardy of my safety. How do I turn this on? Did he do that? No. No, they were all. need you to either okay. either agree or don't agree to get the stuff okay. and get out of there. Right now he, he's concerned that you're going to stay in that I room. Got a case number. Honestly, based on the things that you're I'm saying, I'm concerned about that too, so I need you to agree or don't, and that's fine, but we can't facilitate this. We can't. Care routine in another room, in another bathroom, because that's going to prolong the, the issue. Will you agree to go in, get the things that you need, and then come back out of that room? It's a yes or a no. Well, sure. She's made the agreement to do that. We're going to be here to facilitate it, to get in, get the things that she needs, and get back out of the room. She's made that agreement. Then we, we exit the room with her, and then we leave. It's not going to require any force. You don't know that. Look, you sir. I'm not going to talk in circles with you all night, sir. Are, will you? I'm talking in circles. You're not hearing me. So when you don't hear me, I have to say the same thing. That is by definition talking in circles. Will you agree? She's made the agreement. No, I'm trying to mediate a situation because you're being very difficult right now. Will you allow will you allow me to come in and get the items that she needs? Will you allow me to come in and get the items that she needs? I'm going to have to get a list from her because she's she said there's quite a few things. Will you agree to allow me into the room? Yeah. Okay. Look, this is not how this is going to go. Open the door and I will come in and get the items that she needs. She will talk through my partner over here. I'm not coercing you to do anything. I'm not going to allow her to rush into that room. So what is your plan when she refuses to leave? 
She's not going in the room. You're not hearing me. We don't have a lift. She needs medication. Are you going to open the door or not? I, I told you I'm not comfortable opening the door for my safety. I am not a danger to you. But she is. She is not allowed access to that room right now because my partner's standing with her. I'm going to go in there and she's going to tell my partner where the, th the items are and he's going to tell me. Look, I'm just trying to get your stuff, okay? I'm not sure why you're getting frustrated. I'm talking to your wife. If that's if you want your stuff, that's the only way that it's going to happen. She's texting you a list of the remaining items. Did you text them list? I need to come. I need my comforter out of there. Yes, it is. I need my comforter. Like that. Yeah. Look, ma'am, the more reasonable you keep the list, the easier it is going to be to get this stuff. Okay, thank you. Did you get the list? Sir, did you get the list? Mr. Bierman. <laughs> Mr. Bierman. Did, did you, yes, sir. Did you get the list of things that she sent you? Uh, I got, yeah, it looks like more coming in. Can you do me a favor and put the dog in the bathroom while you're handing the stuff out the door? She's not taking it out of the house. She's taking it to another room. My face cream and my hair. We're getting a 
Are you going to hand the other items out, sir? So, look, I'll, I'm just trying to facilitate this so we can get out of here. I'm trying to facilitate her getting some of her items. Are you getting the other items or not? Are they still on? There's a physical 86 in Matthews. <clears throat> Thank you. Both subjects seven on running from from men in the construction area. Forty eight to Delta Eleven Ten, do we have a direction of travel? You just need a charger? Sir, is there an additional iPhone charger anywhere in there you can spare? Look ma'am. I think that's about as far as we're going to get tonight. Go ahead. Okay. Mr. Beerman. Forge North Pass and Haynes. Forge North Pass and Haynes. Mr. Beerman. Tango Foxer Alpha. Oh, okay, thank you. Can you grab a phone charger for her, please? Yes, I Thank you. Silver sedan. You can screw it shut. You can. There's any number of things that you can do. Screw it shut while I leave this open and go get my screws, so she comes barging in here later. This is wild, man. You guys got to work that stuff out. This is wild that I can't get into my master to get my own stuff. Or somebody can let me screw this up somewhere. All right. We're getting off at Old Milton now. I'm assuming he's trying to stop not on the highway. He could be possibly 30 with his. It's red as huge as you can see. And he knows that. It's a silver container of cream. And he knows that. Silver container of cream. And this is it. This is it, I promise. I need my cream. Mr. Behrman, we have one last item to request. What's that? I need my, I need my There's cream. There's a, a silver yeah. container of neck cream that she's requesting. It's under the sink, she says. Oh, in a drawer. Oh, in a drawer. It's not there. She said that it's not there. It is there. I used it this morning. He gave us even the company and stuff, so I was kind of hard to believe it. Could you humor me and take another glance, see if it's somewhere else? I do appreciate you being reasonable and grabbing the other things that we asked for.
Were you able to find that cream, sir? Is there a picture? It's not there. Okay. It is there. I need the cream, Troy. Where is that? It's in the drawer to the right hand, it's underneath the, the perfume. Sent you a picture. Take a picture? He's he sent you a picture. He's showing us out there. Because he probably took it out. No, you're in the wrong drawer to the right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right. Ma'am, is there going to be any... Is this, this issue going to escalate? Or are are you, we safe to leave? I just can't lift all this stuff. This is okay. Like the bag. You're going to have to incrementally move this stuff yeah, then. I'm sorry to bother you with this stuff. This is absolutely absurd. Okay. If there's any issues... I could have called you every day for the last two years of my life. All right. If there's any further issues or if anybody is safety is at risk, just please give us a call. Don't let the issue escalate to that level, though. Please leave before uh, it does. Okay. What was your name? Uh, I'm Officer Cabral. Thank you so much. I appreciate both of you guys. All right. Thank you. Can we go out this door? Yeah. Hi. I couldn't really tell. I think he was this yellow one, the guy in the background. Luckily, there's two of them already. Because uh, Eva was almost here. He was almost here? Yeah. This is the house. Yeah. Um, I came home and I'm locked out of my room, which happens all the time. Like, he's mad now because I file. It's ridiculous. Anyways. Um, so I called the locksmith and the locksmith drilled the lock out of the bottom door. Um, and when he came downstairs, he wouldn't open the door. He said, I'm recording. I said, I'm exhausted. I come beyond exhausted. I'm just, I'm like, not a dog. I'm just please let me lay in my bed. And I stuck in my daughter's room. And he said, no, you're not getting in the door. And I just took the name screaming when I was knocking on the door. He said, not, I'll come for you. And here we are. So I'm So y'all aren't divorced yet? No. Okay. I begged him to file. Please file every day. Please file. Finally did it yesterday or two days ago, whenever it was. Right. Corey. Corey. I just need to get in my room and lay in my bed. Like, this is crazy. I just paid somebody $350 to open the lock, and then they didn't do the handle because they got scared, and so they left. I've done nothing wrong. I just want to sleep in my bed. Did y'all mm -hmm. argue today? Yeah. No. Okay. I left. He had me scared, Dave. Like some guy in my house. I almost told the police this black man was in my house. Walking around, he scared the shit. I didn't know so, who he was. I'd never met him in my life. So you weren't here, and then you came back, and the door was locked? No, I we're to the right-hand side is where I was. Okay. This front door is locked. Oh, I don't know why. Oh, hold on, guys. You can go to the right-hand side. You can't hear where the door is. Well, we're going to see if we can make, get him to come to the door first. Oh, okay. Sure. I don't want to surprise him. You know, two armed guys come through the side door. You know, you guys are on the phone. You chased you guys out of here before. As you know, I'm sure you've heard the story. Uh, yeah, I've been here before. Okay, You'll just stand there. Oh, I thought you said something like a fucking animal. I was like, dude, no, please don't tell me. <laughs> let me go around to the, um, let me get my dog to see Oh, okay. She's just, as we're walking up, she's saying something about, let me try to go through the side door. She's not locked out. So she can get through the side door? I think so. Their dog is friendly. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, he just barks a lot. He's really big though. Do I have your kids? Hi. They're older. Tired. Like, the daughter's 17. I think they got two boys, they're like 10 or 11. Okay, because I was sorry, it's all there. Little airsoft dudes. Yeah. Hold the board. Hold that for you, my dad. Okay. 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 Mr. Beerman, this is Milton Police. Can you come to the door, please? Yeah. Can you open the door, please? Uh, I would like to see who I'm speaking with. Be Sir, I would like to at least see your hands while I'm talking to you. You don't have to put your face out. I'm sorry? Open the door for the press. I would like to see your hands while we're talking. Yes, sir, you can. We would like to discuss the dispute that's going on, but I would like to see your hands. All right, sir. So here's the deal. This is still marital property, so you're both due uh, equal access to it. If you deny one party access to that property, then you can be charged with criminal trespass. Is there another bedroom you can sleep in for the night? No. My daughter's room is there. Their mattresses are so soft. So this is like a $20,000 mattress. I mean, I did. I've been sleeping here for three. My kids in there. I'm like, no. Like, he can go somewhere. He's I'm like, sorry, sir. There's nothing wrong with him. Uh, sir, we're Excuse me? just here to talk. I don't want to talk. Don't need to. Yeah, you do. I have my mattress. Like I, I, I'm sweating. Like I'm just nasty. Okay, hold up, honey. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just so, this is so disrespectful. No, that's fine. Can you just give me a sec? So I can, it's hard to hear through the door. All right, all right thank you. Uh, hey, sir. Your wife says she needs access. Okay. Can we facilitate that while we're here? I deserve to sleep in my bed. Can he leave the room for the night for once? Till I'm going to LA on Sunday. Can he leave the room? Like this is I'm not asking for anything. Like I look at my desk, like for real. We can't force either one of you to do anything with that, but I'm gonna try to yeah. these things. We can facilitate all Thank you. Thank okay. you very much. All right, sir. While we're here, we're gonna facilitate the exchange of her some of her stuff out of that room, okay? She's not right here, but she's going to have to come in to get her set. What kind of problem is that, sir? We don't have a problem. And you can't force her to leave, nor can I. I just, this, like, he can go sleep anywhere else. There's a bedroom downstairs. He can sleep. Like, I need. Look, the two of you can work that out, but we're going to open the, can you please open the door so we can at least get the medication and I.
What kind of what medication? While we're here, can you do us a favor? If he opens that door, will you please not create and exacerbate the issue or create another issue? No. No. Yeah, no, I don't. Can you, can you go in, get whatever you need, and then come back out no. without causing another issue? But I don't think it's fair that I have to sit out here with this and well, then I can't help you. Sir, it's hard for me to hear. We can't, we can't really force one way or the other. So, we, what we're trying to get is at least the important stuff. Issue if we, if nobody can compromise. Wait, how do I solve this permit? Well, I know y'all have attorneys, so you need to talk to your attorneys about it. Well, this is, this is new. I've been living in the master. I, this is the first mm -hmm. night he decided because I asked him to please file for it. And he right. finally did. It's, not, it's just a sticky situation for us because he's oh, also, sure. it's also his property. There's no, manipula so. why, why, there's no manipulation. I don't want to be with Troy. I've not wanted to be with Troy for a very long time. Yeah. This is why we're at where we're at. I just want to sleep in my bed. You can obviously see I'm just, it's not a joke, like I'm not a dog, like, I don't, I've been speaking to my daughter's room for three months. Yeah, I get that, but that's where well, we need to come up with some type like, of I'm, compromise. Cause I've always been compromised, been compromised. I understand, but throughout the whole process you're going to have to compromise a little bit here and there. Okay, so we can't just kick in the door and force them to let you sleep in and there. Because that's just going to make the situation worse for you when we leave. Yeah, so what we do is mediation. Either you, if yeah, you I need want to get, get myself. If you, you want to get some clothes out of there, yeah. I need you to agree because he's not going to open that door if you don't agree. Thank you. Yeah. 29. I couldn't tell if it was Esther or Alfred. No, I don't. No, it's crazy. I don't understand like, how we can do this. I don't understand it. You listen to my voice. If you, if you say you're going to create the issue, then I can't hold my measure step with you. Where's the 29? It's 12.03. It's 12.03. They're in 29. All three of them. Will you open the door so that I can speak with you? Uh, Sir, will you listen? Will you open the door so that I can speak with you? No. No, well, I'm I'm out with you. There's got to be something. So I can, we can CT on that. Look, look, sir, this is, it's a property. You can honestly, that can, that's great. you can that's both great. have access. That's great. You don't drill out a lot. Sir, I need you to calm down, please. Oh, Here's the deal. There is no deal. Everything in this house, exactly. with the exception of very few things, is marital property. Continue down this road, it's not going to go well. <laughs> because you are you are now making me feel very uncomfortable and unsafe. Oh I didn't do anything to you. 
I need you to you calm know, down. This is your police tactic. Okay. I'm not oblivious to what you do. Not he did say he got in the custody though. Yes, I can. I'm in my own property. That's not marital property. You can't prove that. It says my name on it. Are you stupid? Alright. See, if we can get in there, you can't say stuff like that, okay? You just, just gotta be completely quiet. Okay, that's fine. Then will you let me in the room so I can get the property? I can walk with you. Claire, you want me? Can you hold it here? Because I can't sleep in this. I have. Claire, you have two normal traffic there. There's one. He knows anyone that's in. He threw my clothes out. I got home. There was a signal. Six six. 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 For the rest of the evening. How does that make any sense? Eleven eight three units. Cool. 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 Instructing my ability to conduct an investigation by not opening that door. I am investigating this dispute to determine whether there is a probable cause to charge you with criminal trespass. I want you to open the door so that you can show me your hand so that I can be clear of your attention. Your safety will not be in jeopardy. You're saying that, but you're not staying here all night. Like, nobody, I've never you can close the door after we leave. But she's going to be in here. Then who's going to remove her? She, we, she has agreed to not stay in that room. She has agreed to go in and get the property and come back out. And you believe her? Do you know it? Look, sir, it doesn't matter. I know you're not going to call the issue. We have to come up with some kind of compromise. To at least get that. Like just close. I have a bra on. Like I have my two ladies in here. Yeah. I, but I would like to have stuff that's important to your health. Yeah, right. Okay, yeah. that's that's the priority. Okay. I have like anti Oh, sorry. I'm sorry about that. I don't know how that happened. Did he do that? I think the. Did you do it from the kitchen up in the house? I think the sleeping arrangement can be decided outside because obviously he's up here. Okay. And then. He's always up there. Right. And then. Your comments and stuff are just going to keep yeah. raising them, okay? I just so again, the right. most important thing is your health, so that concerned about right now. This, this is your naive people. Again, that's why I would like for you to consult your attorney on that. <laughs> I need you to either, yeah, either agree or don't agree to get this one and get out of there. Right now, he's concerned that you're going to stay in there. Honestly, based on the things that you're saying, I'm concerned about that too, sir. So you need to agree, or don't, and that's fine. But we can't wash your face and do your skincare routine in another room, in another bathroom. Because that's going to prolong the, the issue. Will you agree to go in, get yes. the things that you need, I'm sorry to bother you with this. Hold to yes or no. Yes. I said that was fine. He's not going to do it. 
And there's got to be something. Well, sure. She's made the agreement to do that. We're going to be here to facilitate it, to get in, get the things that she We're dealing with this. Then we, we exit her with her, and then we no. It's not going to require any force. You don't know that. Look, sir. Will you, you just please I'm promise me yeah, that you'll come out? Because I'm dead serious. I understand. It's not a joke. Like, I've been living with my daughter for three months, and then the last seven weeks I've been in my master, or not seven weeks, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, so and I get it, but somebody has to be the bigger person. Me all the time, man. I know. I know. I've been out here several times. I, I know I know the deal. I know it sucks, but eventually, eventually it will end. Okay. Process. No, I need to on Monday. I've been told by all of you guys. I'm just, yeah. for my kids' sake, try to avoid it. But it's my mother. She's just. I need to. Amazon's personal hygiene items. Toothbrush. Look, sir, I'm not doing this anymore with you. Are you going to open the door or not? I told you, I'm not comfortable opening the door for my safety. I am not a danger to you. She is not allowed access to that room right now because my partner's standing with it. I'm going to go in there and she's going to tell my partner where the, the, the items are. Why can't I watch You've got to tell me. Well, we're I'm the just first trying to get We're trying to get somewhere. Stuff, okay? I'm not sure why you can trust I'm talking to your wife. If you want your stuff, that's the only way that it's going to happen. I don't get, I don't get how I can help. You can text me the rest of my hands to the door. Are you, is this guy for real? Like, come on, guys. Like, this is absurd. He doesn't even have a job and pay for this house in years. I take care yeah, of all well, this. That, that's irrelevant. Like, this is crazy. Again, I can't walk well, in with a police officer. Secret, like I need my pajamas. Like I don't want to sleep in these clothes that I've been running. Can you just hand day. us everything that has her name? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Instead of doing this whole list thing. Text them. Text
She's texting you a list of the remaining items. Did you get the list? Sir, did you get the list? He's not going to answer now. Mr. Bierman. Mr. Bierman. <laughs> did, did you, yes, sir, did you get the list of things that she sent you? Can you do me a favor and put the dog in the bathroom while you're handing the stuff out the door? I think she's asking for those kids' marital property, so... She's not taking it out of the house, she's taking it to another room. My face cream is my color. We're getting a... It's my personal It's my face cream and my eye cream and my body gloss. It's a shower. It's a Are you going to hand the other items out, sir? No, look, I'll, I'm just trying to facilitate this so we can get out of here. Like if I would just go in there, it would take me three minutes to get my stuff and get out. Does your daughter have an iPhone? There's that one in the car. You see the charger? There is an additional iPhone charger in there. You can hear. Can you grab a phone charger for her, please? Thank you.
I mean, my comforter, like a little blanket. The door that's now wide open downstairs that she drilled out that I now have to my safety for it. You can screw it shut. You can, there's any number of things you can do. Screw it shut while I leave this open to go get my screws so she comes barging in here later. This is wild, man. You guys gotta work that out. This is wild that I can't get into my master to get my own stuff. I'm surprised we even got all this. See, and he knows that it's a silver container of cream, and he knows it. I want my silver container of cream, and that's it. Okay, this, this is the last this is thing. It. This is it. I promise. I need my cream. <laughs> Mr. Fairman, we have one last item to request. I need my. I need my. Cream. Oh, no, we got silver it. container. Of Neck cream that she's requesting, it's under the sink, she said. No, it's in a drawer. Oh, in a drawer. Well, so it's not there. It is there. Wait, I used it to smoke. Look, he, he gave us even the comforter and stuff, so I find it hard to believe he's like, no, I'm not going to get that. Did you humor me and take it out right now? Do what? I'm not going to get that thing that I paid for for my neck. That's why he wants me. I appreciate you being reasonable and grabbing the other things that we asked for. It's a $1,000 cream. That's why he's. 1123 NSA 9. We'll call for. We're going to be waffle house. We're going to be waffle house. We're going to find a waffle house. Were you able to find that cream, sir? Sir, it's not there. It is there. I need the cream, so Troy. We're going to talk. It's in the drawer to the right hand, it's underneath the, the perfume. Let's take a picture. Take a picture? He sent you a picture saying that, showing it's not there. Because he probably took it out. No, you're in the wrong drawer to the right. If there's any further issues or if anybody is safety is at risk, just please give us a call. Don't let the issue escalate to that level though. Please leave before uh, it does. What was your name? Uh, Monster Cabral. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Can you go out this door? Yeah.